So it's Thursday the 24th of December 2020, which means only one thing, it's Christmas Eve 2020. Can't we just wait for this year to end? Anyway, I have completed the image of Mr Blackbird. I've given him a snowy landscape on a low horizon and I've put some blue sky thinking with some lovely swallows in the sky for him and the next plan of action is to use some iridescence look at this iridescence um 20 mil tiles and i'm going to prop this up wedge this mosaic up so that i can put these iridescence on the edge so that's the next plan of action i'm really really pleased with this because it's a small area for me to work in. I've got a little signature there. So I've managed to fit in lots of different things on a small area, uh, including these undulation lines. Because it's always difficult when you've got a small area like this. As I've said before, every small piece of tessera makes a big difference. So... Uh, originally, I had one piece of tile, the swallow tile, right across, but it it was confusing with the blackbird. So now it's not, and uh, everything will bring itself together once it's been grouted. And I'm going to use a chocolate grout for this, so it'll give a nice warmth to it all, an earthy warmth. So... Onward and upward, carrying on with the edges. See you soon. So it's Thursday, the 31st of December, 2020, the last day of this crazy year. And I am completing the edges today of the mosaic. Now I've used some iridescent 20 mil tiles. They're gorgeous. Now, as it's not plywood, it's not got a flat surf surface, this Marmox. It's a bit of undulation, sort of dips in and dips out. But um, I think that adds to it really because when I've applied the tile adhesive onto the board edge, um, it's undulated in and out, which catches the light very nicely, I think. So the plan is, is to mix up the MaxFlex fibre with a pop of water and apply the tile adhesive on its edge, on the edge here. And I'll show you that in a minute. So friends, I've mixed up a batch of tile adhesive and I've got a trusty spatula like a little glue spreader and I've been applying a couple of them already. Um, I'm buttering the surface of the edge. I like that phrase, buttering. And then I make sure it's securely squeezed down. And you're just using your fingers to wipe away the excess to start off with. Now, let me just give you a little close up there so you can see what I'm talking about. It's one of those winter days when it's really bright, but uh, not bright enough sometimes. Okay, let's just do you the final bit. Let's just uh, move this here. Like so. So I'll just butter that bit. You can build up an edge by using this tile adhesive as well. So if it's an uneven surface, you can just put a nice mound of it on and then apply 
your tessera onto it and squeeze it down and making sure that it's fairly flat on the top. And then give it a little bit of a push, not too much of a squeeze, but enough so that you know it's absolutely contacting. And don't forget, I'll be grouting in between this line as well, these uh, edges. So I'll be doing that soon enough. So let's do another one. squeeze it down and take away the excess now when I've done the whole of this area I have got these things called skew picks um, let me just make this wider that's it I've got these things called skew picks um, they're kind of sculptory type tools, they're quite sharp actually. So if you've just got something that you just want to bevel out and uh, dig out, these are quite good for that. I'm hard, I've hardly used them, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to start using them soon because sometimes it takes me a while for me to just like think, ah, oh, I know the thing I've got for the job. So I might just take out the edge here with perhaps this tool and uh, yeah so when it's slightly gone off I could use this even you know just like take off the edge underneath perhaps so that's the job I'm going to be doing now so let me just give you a little bit of a view on that so there you go so I'm just going to do that edge wait for it to cure and once that's completely done in about an hour's time, uh, maybe two, I'll do the other half, the bottom part, half, the final part. Okay then, see you. Bye. Okay, friends, now is the time when I grout the mosaic. So I'm using my favourite 144 Chocolate Ultra Colour Plus by Mappe. And it's a lovely chocolate brown that will go very nicely with the foliage particularly and in between the blues as well. So I'm going to mix up because this is 35 by 30, I'm thinking I'm going to mix up two, well, less than one, you know, no, less than two beakers worth of uh, of uh, the grout. Because I know that one beaker equals about 24 by 24 centimetres. So I'm just going to add this in and mix it up. And as it takes, um, it's a 30 minute pot life. Um, I haven't mixed it yet, but I will sh shortly show you what it's going to look like in a minute. Okay, then. See you soon. Okay, friends. So I've mixed up my chocolate grout. Very chocolatey indeed. And I am going to apply it with my rubber kidney. Trust you, rubber kidney. And... I've just mixed it and I just set it aside for about a minute or so. So it's lovely and smooth. And then I'll pop a dollop on like so. And very carefully and gently push it into all the crevices. So it's absolutely covered. You want to make sure that it's all covering all of it. I always have a little box underneath so that I've got a little bit of height as well so it's not um, doing my back in. So, let's see what I'm doing there. In and out of all the shapes and whatnot.
I might do the edge finally. But let's see how we get on with trying to cover all the surface. Everyone has their own way of grouting. Every mosaic artist has their own way of grouting. And uh, some people would use a damp cloth on this next after it's cured a bit. I don't tend to, I like to leave it dry. I find it's a bit counterintuitive to get it all wet again after it's been wet. I'll do the edges in a minute, but I think I just want to show you what it looks like. And we want to be gentle with it as well. We don't want to sort of pull the grout away from it because if we get all you know aggressive with it, it'll start pulling away all the grout away from all the edges and we want to make sure that the grout just pushes into or sinks into melts into even um, all the gaps so just to show you so what we're doing now is just letting that rest a little bit so that it starts to cure and it starts to get a little bit dry it'll have a hazy look and then i might just wipe away all the bits and pieces and it's like take it takes about two or three sort of two or three um layers to take off and i might use the back of a brush you know back of a just a normal brush to just like carve out so you're sort of excavating out all the bits and pieces so that you know all the bits like these berries can be just like carved out as well okay speak to you soon it's so blooming difficult to do this film because uh we're in the dead of winter, so there's not a lot of light out there. And uh, I'm hoping you'll be able to see the detail of this. But I've just done the second uh, amount of cleaning up now where I've, uh, you know, just pushed in the grout into all the areas. So the next stage is to um, do a little bit of excavation, a little bit of sculpting. So let's see if I can just show you that there. Let's talk about this area here, particularly the leaves. I want to spend some time um, sorting out these berries on their on on my own without you guys being here. <laughs> so what we're doing is with gloves on. I'm not doing it without my gloves, but I'm just just showing you. I'm just using the back of a brush to very gently and carefully. Sculpt out all the excess grout. It's had a little bit of time to cure. So just taking out all the excess. Maybe using a bit of a brush to just brush away the excess as well. But you can see where I'm going with this one, you know, just making sure that you take away all this excess from, you know, you want to spend all your time cutting a beautiful shape and then it's buried underneath. <laughs> so I love this grout, as you know, uh, it's so forgiving and it's really sandy, so it makes everything really clean. And it cleans up your tiles as well if you've got glue on it. So this is the job I'm going to do now um, 
to fix this. Okay then, speak to you soon. friends. Um, I've just got rid of all the excess grout. See if we can see it better here. Let's just do a little section here for you to see. Um, what I did was use the end of a brush to sculpt out all the excess bits like this very gently and carefully. So you're excavating and sculpting using this grout as well, which is also another forgiving thing that this grout can do. And then I've used the other end of the brush to either brush away or dab it in. So I've got a little bit of texture, a little bit of grout texture as well. So that makes it quite delightful. Um, still going off, which means that you can smooth down areas. Um, where I've got my signature, I'm just going to rub that away with a, with a sponge later on so that uh, the grout is at level, level with the beads. Yeah, so it's a little bit of waiting for it to cure so that it will look finished. Um, let's just bring this back a little bit. There you go. So that's what it looks like now. I've already done the edges as well, and I've cleaned those up. And then the back as well around the edge here. And once that's properly cured, I'll clean those up with a wire brush or a sponge. So I'm going to paint the back of this black, um, the Marmox background black. So it gives you a nice finishing touch. Not that anyone can see it, but that'll be a good thing to do as a final finishing touch. And that's what it looks like now. And I'll show you a little photograph of it when it's completely cleaned up and finished. Okay then, speak to you soon. Bye. Well, dear friends, it's Wednesday the 6th of January 2021 and everything's all cleaned up and sorted. So it's ready to post now, little Mr Blackbird there. So I've cleaned up all the bits of grout, the excess grout, and cleaned up all the edges as well. And I've also painted the back as well. So um, it was a rubberized paint, like a car paint, um, just in case, it, it acts like a sealer, just in case, um, my client wanted to hang it up outside, but then it is Marmox, so it should be all right. Um, and she'll be hanging that up in the summer, she says. So I hope so, because we've got a lot of snow at the moment and it keeps on coming. So my hope is um, I will post it today. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll look delightful in her kitchen and also her garden later on in the year so thank you very much for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel and let folks know about it um lots of how-to videos and working progress filmettes for you to enjoy speak to you soon bye